Hi there, my name is Tom Dodds, and in today's video, I want to share with you a quick tip from time management area. Quick, and I would say quite basic tip. Uh, but let's start with actually with the context. Did you ever have this situation that you had, you know, this initiative, uh, this thing you wanted to do for quite a few weeks, but you simply could not find time for it because there were so many other urgent things coming into your way it could be you know some basic stuff like time to read a book you bought a few weeks ago it could be time to uh, do some physical exercises do jogging or visit the gym uh, or maybe it's a time you'd like to spend on your own personal project your passion or maybe something related to your work or even nowadays when we spend so much time in work uh, maybe that's a dedicated time to your family, something nice you would like to do uh, with, with your close people. Uh, so those are a few examples. That's a background. If you ever had that challenge, uh, I think this, uh, this quite basic tip uh, I will be sharing today will be useful. So let's start with the basic stuff. First, pick up your calendar and simply book your time to do the task. And make sure you actually use you know the calendar uh, that you visit on a daily basis it can be a physical ca calendar it can be also you know calendar on your phone or maybe software you use in your work and you review that on a daily basis regardless what it is book some time 30 minutes half an hour an hour two hours book some time for the task uh, you would like to do and the second step which is very important set up some reminders set up some alarm maybe on your mobile that will make sure that you know when the task comes you rem remember about this and uh, it's best to have that alarm like 15 10 minutes before the task not to be that much surprised that you need to do something different uh, right now so we already have time booked in the calendar and the alarm set up a uh, few days few hours later uh, we see a reminder, we see alarm, and we start the task, we start spending time on, on the initiative we would like to do. Very important thing, go offline. If you have your mobile with you, turn it off. If there is a radio, TV, anything like that could, that could disturb you from doing the task, simply turn it off to get right focus on the task you would like to do. Uh, and then simply perform the task. It's really useful. You know to have a watch with you or maybe timer on your phone or somewhere somewhere else just to keep track of how much time you spend you invest already in that in that initiative in that task and how much time you have left uh, and although someone may say it's not that flexible approach yes but i would encourage you to simply stick to the schedule you set up so if that was half an hour yes do spend half an hour uh, on your initiative it will make it easier to plan it next time and it would make slightly difficult to uh, to say next time well i don't have time for it because you will know you have that discipline if that's an, an hour in my calendar it will be an hour it was last time right uh, so i'd say that's almost it last step in the process again very simple but quite powerful is once you finish your task make sure you book some time for the next session next step in your calendar as well using the same process with some kind of reminder going offline keeping track of time etc if you do it straight away after doing the task you have guarantee that you will you know progress with that initiative and that will be ongoing uh, ongoing process so those were a few words from my side about time management again basic but quite powerful task uh, sorry tool from my side uh, if you like the video i do encourage you to visit my website tomdouds.com where you can find more content on personal development topic uh, i hope you will find it uh, interesting so thank you for your time uh, and see you, see you.